Hello scientific genius people, how are you today? We are going to understand today about biometallic strip and we would also try to understand the applications and what happens to biometallic strip on cooling and heating. So this is how our lecture flow is going to happen. Learning about biometallic strip, the effects on heating and cooling and finally uh, its use as a thermostat. So let's begin. Biometallic strip. So what do you mean by biometallic strip? So here we have two biometallic strips given and this upper one, this is just a block. This is not a part of a biometallic strip. Biometallic strip means two strips made up of metal and they are being joined very firmly. So say this is the upper metal strip having this much thickness and actually the thicknesses are kept very very small because we want linear expansion only not the superficial expansion. This is say for example strip A and this lower one is strip B and both these metals are different. So their thermal expansion would be different and the coefficient of linear expansion alpha of A would be different than that of alpha of B. And which may be greater, which may be smaller, that depends upon the type of metal it is. So this is generally the construction of biometallic strip. Now when you heat, suppose we believe that alpha A is larger than alpha B, which means the expansion of A would be larger than expansion of B. So A would try to become more longer compared to B. But it is not allowed to go straight because both are firmly fitted together. So instead of actually you know becoming this bigger and this smaller, this is not allowed because their ends should be completely and always joined together. So what can they do is they have to bend in order to show different lengths after expansion they have to bend. Now in which direction they will bend? Let us see that. So this is the biometallic strip at its normal length and uh, here this is alpha A again the upper metal is A and its coefficient of linear expansion is alpha A the lower metal is B and coefficient of linear expansion is alpha B and we are discussing we have already made an assumption that alpha A is larger than alpha B. So this metal is upper metal is going to become more longer than the uh, metal which is fitted at the bottom. Right, lower metal. So this is not allowed because their ends have to be always joined. So when we heat, this is the actual scenario. Now here again, since this, this side expansion is restricted, so we can only see one side bending. But if this part is removed, then it would bend from both sides, which I am going to shortly discuss. So now the length of the upper strip is say L1 till here and this is the lower strips length after heating and initial length before heating of for both of them were L0. So if I consider L0 to be say 1 meter, so both rods initially had length 1 meter. So after expansion, the after expansion or after heating, the length increase in L1 is larger and the length increase in 2 is comparatively smaller than L1. So final length this would be somewhere around 1.00003 we are just assume, assuming the things and this is 1.00001 meter. So both of their lengths are increasing but the upper one is increasing more compared to the lower one. So it has to bend on in the downward side. So we can also say that the metal which is expanding less, its side the bending is going to take place. So the, the one which bends the less, the one which increases by less amount, the bending is towards that. So the metal is going to bend in the downward direction as we can see that the length L2 is smaller than length L1. Now actual situation when you only have a say single rod like this. The expansion takes place from both sides. 
So now if I assume a biometric strip like this, right? And if, if I say heat it from here, so the heat is going to evenly reach the entire part of the biometric strip and the thicknesses are very small. So we can expect the bending like this to happen. Correct. And this is A, this is B. We can see that the increase in length for A is larger than increase in the length for B. So I might call this as L1 and the lower one, the lower length is L2. Right. So the coefficient of expansion of A, alpha A is larger than alpha B. That's why this is happening. But suppose if coefficient of expansion of B is larger than coefficient of expansion of A, then the above metal strip would bend like this. Because now look at this length L1 and look at this length which is L2. So L2 is larger than now L1, correct. And the initial length was L0 for both of them like this. So in whether it is alpha A greater than alpha B or alpha B greater than alpha A, here L1 and L2 are always going to be larger than L0 before heating length and here also L1 and L2 are also going to be larger than L0, whether this is the case or that is the case. But here L2 would, would be more larger than L1 and vice versa over here. So now let us discuss about what happens to the biometric strip on cooling. So here we have we have made the same assumptions that both the strips A and B are being surrounded by the ice crystals. So these are the pieces of ice. We have surrounded both the rods with ice pieces and both the rods had same length, pardon me, both the rods had same length L0, this is lower rod B and this is L0. So now as per our assumption that alpha A is greater than alpha B, so which means that the rods which have more coefficient of expansion will expand more on heating and contract more on cooling which means this is the initial length of the rod. So this is the initial length of the rod till here. Now after cooling A rod shortens in the length, B rod also shortens in the length. But A rod is going to shorten more, shorten more compared to B, it is because its coefficient of linear expansion is more, correct. So if this length is say 1 meter, we can expect this length to be 0 0.0, sorry 0 0.9999 meter and this can be 0 0.9997 meter, something like this, right. Oh, I am sorry, I made a mistake, 997 on the top, here 999 at the bottom. Correct, but we know that this moment is not allowed as their ends have to be joined because they are firmly joined with one another, they cannot go like this. So they have to bend again. So now what is going to happen is this moment is restricted. So what is going to happen in order to show this, this is going to bend like this. like this one and after cooling the new length is L1 which is shown over here and the lower length is L2 which is shown over here. Of course L1 and L2 both are less than L0 but L1 would be even lesser than L2. So from here what we can say is those substances whose coefficient of linear expansion is more, they expand more on heating and contract more on cooling. 
so now let us try to you know understand the use of this biometric strip so thermostat it is used as as a thermostat thermostat is a is any any device which you know senses the temperature and changes its shape something like that so even light bulb can be called as a thermostat right so thermostat is a component which senses the temperature of physical system so from here say for example this is wire and this is a connector this is biometric strip again this is a connector and this is a, these are again wires and here is say for example a circuit and this circuit can operate below 1 ampere current so when the current is passing through these wires it is also going to pass through the biometric strip and the current produces heating effect like our mobile phones when they are being charged the current passes through the mobile phone and the phone gets hot but let us assume that below 1 ampere these strips are getting heated up but very small and negligible amount of change is going to happen due to which the bending doesn't take place let us assume but suddenly if the current rises above 1 ampere then there are there is too much of current in the circuit and that would definitely damage our circuit so what is going to happen is this biometric strip on the passage of higher amount of current this is going to get heated up because current produces heating effect and due to which since alpha a is larger than alpha b that's what we have assumed over here the strip would be bending in the downward direction and this connect connection with the wires and this triangular shaped connector will break and our circuit will be prevented by huge amount of flow of current so that's why we are using biometric strip in case of thermostat but nowadays we have mcbs and all those kind of stuffs so we don't have to worry about these things right okay so hopefully guys you have explained you i have uh, explained all the concepts well and if you have any doubts please do comment in the comment section and thank you for watching the video